Why, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to a revolting review. I'm Random Ross, and today, in this one, I am reviewing the film X. <laughs> So this um, is written and directed by Ty West, starring Mia Goth, um, uh, Jenna um, Ortega, um, Martin Henderson, Brittany Snow, Owen Campbell, Stephen Yeo, and um, Scott Mascubi. So this is a psychological horror thriller uh, where a where a group of, you know, pornographic actors and crew uh, go to this um, this remote farmland to, um, well, make a porno film, and um, you know things go according to plan uh, until the owner of the land and his wife um, are, well, at first thinking the wife's just, you know, sick. Uh, they, they discover that they're a psycho couple and they think that they're filthy whores and what have you and it turns into a brutal fight for survival or a game of cat and mouse so that's pretty much the story to it so this is set in uh, texas houston 1979 so basically around the time you know the whole porno craze was going on you know in the 70s and that probably it's golden years i'd say uh, I don't really know, I wasn't really there in the 70s, but I do know of it. Anyway, so uh, that's pretty much the story. So what did I like about this? Well, first of all, I liked the whole 70s feel to it. And when they were filming like the film, you know, they were like showing it through the camera lens of like an old 70s, like, is it Super 8 camera? And I like that tone of cinematography there. It was pretty good how they did that. I also like the whole 70s setting and, you know, how they were, like, sort of true to that decade. Um, I also thought this had good cinematography. And during the night scenes, it wasn't too dark. You could still see what was going on. Uh, I also liked, um, you know, a few intense moments. Like, there was one intense scene where... One of my protagonists is taking a swim in a in a pond and, you know, there's an alligator and you think, oh god, is she going to get attacked by this thing? And it's like a big tension build-up. Um, I also enjoyed, uh, you know, the soundtrack and the score to this. It had a very unsettling score to it as well. And I also like the character of the old woman in it. She was really creepy and sinister looking very unsettling especially with the stuff she did and when she stripped naked i thought i mean you know our antagonists for this movie were well like i say they were an old couple that were like extreme christians i guess but they were pretty creepy in a lot of scenes and i do i do like that uh, there even is some good scenes in there, like a scene where one of our characters goes into the basement and makes a horrific discovery there. And, you know, I also thought, you know, this was... It was entertaining. It was a slow burn as well. Yeah, it was a slow burn. But one of the slow burns where I can actually... Where I actually do... Where I actually don't mind it. Because me, I have a love-hate thing with slow burn horror and i either like it or i don't or it's worth the tension it's worth the build up in this case for me it was worth the build up uh, we see a lot of nudity and a lot of sexual scenes in this and a lot of um you know just a lot of exploitative things and pretty hardcore 70s exploitation feels i got from this one a lot of exploitative vibes I got like I say we got a lot of nudity from men and women in this after all they were a porno, porno crew and it had a lot of sexual content in there and um, I, I like that you know I didn't mind it uh, I also liked our lead actress in this Mia Goth 
Uh, I haven't really seen her in much or do much, but I, I liked her character. You know, she was an interesting character. Uh, Britney Snow, she played like a sort of... I don't want to say dumb blonde, but... She, she played a blonde in it, but was smart. But again, was completely unaware of the horrors going on around her until her... You know, until she met her demise. Uh, but Britney Snow was good in it. I, I mean, I like her. I've seen her in a lot of other good horrors, like uh, Would You Rather and also the Pitch Perfect films. Um, so I thought she was good in this. Um, I also enjoyed, like, the whole... This just was a, an alright, decent film. Uh, like I say, I didn't mind the slow tension build. This is an A24 film. A24, they're, they're doing something right, because they've done quite a lot of good horrors, particularly slow burns like Hereditary and Midsommar and The Witch. You know, I don't know what it is, but A24 just know how to make a slow burn horror, I gotta say. Um, but once the horror gets going, it gets going, and there is a lot of gore in this, a lot of violence, uh, which I was expecting in a film like this, and they delivered on that. Um, of course, I do have a few dislikes, like there was probably one, well, at least one cliche I noticed where one of our characters were just not seeing any common sense and walked straight into a gunfire. You know, I thought, oh, that was a bit of a dumb move to make, you know, I kind of think, yeah. <laughs> uh, but other than that, I thought it was an enjoyable film. You know, it was like, you know, kind of had a grindhouse vibe to it as well and a grindhouse feel. The opening of this movie is one of those where it cuts to, where it shows the aftermath and then we go back 24 hours before. And then at the end, we go back to the beginning where we find out what happens and that. We do have a final girl in this, Mia Goff's, you know, like, the final girl, even though I wasn't expecting her to be the final girl. Little mild spoiler there. Mind you, this movie's been out for about over a month now, so I don't know if I've given any spoilers there. But yeah, I mean, they do leave a few loose ends here at the end. Probably one loose end, but not really too bothered with it, I guess. There's a, there's this thing on in the background where there's a preacher testifying and all that stuff and I'm thinking okay that these people are Christians they're a bit extreme and then there's a bit of a reveal on there so X is it worth the watch well yeah if you like exploitation you like the you know dark grindhouse hardcore sex things sexiness of the 70s then yeah I'd say watch it but I mean this probably isn't for everyone I mean for me personally I enjoyed it but like I say not everyone might like this I don't know but me personally I did enjoy it so um, let's see what am I gonna rate this one I think I'll give this one I think I'll give it um, I'll probably give it four stabs out of five four stabs out of five for X so have you seen this one let me know all that down in the comments below if you have. I've been Random Ross, this has been a revolting review. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new here and you want to see more from me, then you know you can always subscribe and see more. You know, just putting it out there. It's a little click for you, but it means a deal to me, but the choice is yours really. And all my social media links are linked down below in the description. So be sure to check all that out. I've been Random Ross. And I've just said already, this has been a revolting review. So until next time, do you have nightmares?